Hello everyone. Look who decided to join us today. Mr. Woody. Woody. Oh. <laughs> it's so big. He's gotten to be such a big boy. Okay, it is time to pick some polishes for another Mystery Manny, so let's jump in. Okay, so the first polish is right here, and this is Maniology Lilac Clouds. Um, this is a stamping polish. I have chosen to use all of my stamping polishes as regular polishes in Mystery Manny's because not only do they stamp very well, but they look and work gorgeous as regular polishes. So very, very pretty. That is Maniology Lilac Clouds. Okay, so that's the first color. Let's see what the second one is. And we are gonna go, oh boy, okay. And this is Sally Miracle Gel Adrenaline. So this actually my husband got me for Christmas, I believe two years ago, I wanna say. I think two years ago. Okay, so then we have that Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in the Adrenaline, and then uh, Maniology Lilac Clouds. Ooh, pretty. <gasps> Look at those two. Ooh, I like them. Okay. All right. So those are the two polishes I picked. I'll meet you back here with the completed Manny. We'll see what I can come up with. Now taking a closer look at the colors. First up, we have Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel in Adrenaline Crush. This is a really pretty kind of purpley brown uh, shimmer polish. Very gorgeous. I love this one. Then we have this beautiful Maniology stamping polish in Lilac Clouds B238. This is a really pretty light lavender polish. I'm going to start this mani off by painting my pinky with Adrenaline Crush. This polish is a complete one coat. So pretty, so shimmery, perfect. Then taking Maniology's Lilac Clouds, I'm going to be painting two of my nails. This is a great stamping polish, but when I use it as a regular polish here, you can see that in the first coat it is a little bit streaky and uneven. Then applying a thin second coat of Lilac Clouds does make this polish completely opaque for me. And then using a white polish, the one I am using here is Kiss Gel in French White. I'm just applying this to one of my nails. Um, I'm gonna be doing some sponging, so this is just a nice, great base. Now taking Vibrant Vinyl's Fast and Hard Top Coat, I'm gonna to apply this over that white nail. That is good to help when I start doing the sponging that is not gonna pick up that French White base. I also am going to be using Queen's latex tape to protect the skin around my nail and make for easy cleanup as I'm doing the sponging. Now using a clean makeup sponge here, I'm going to go ahead and make a strip of Adrenaline Crush and also a strip of lilac clouds. Now as I'm sponging this on, I did notice that my strips were a little bit thin, so I do go in with a little bit of a thicker strip of each of the colors, and I think that made it blend very nicely. Then using a pair of tweezers, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that latex tape. I have these 3D water decals I received in a fearless nail art box and I could not wait to use them. I'll be using this really pretty heel. I think this is so cool. I love this and the colors just blended really nice as a backdrop for this. Absolutely gorgeous. And to go along with that shoe, I have this really fun Louis Vuitton stamping plate. I'll leave the link for this in the description. It is so pretty. So I decided to use this uh, LV kind of emblem 
stamping plate design right here and I am using Adrenaline Crush as my stamping polish. Now at first I was kind of nervous because I didn't know how this would show up against the um, kind of paleness of lilac clouds but I think it made it so beautiful and delicate. I really like it. I then am going to use this design that has the LV think this is awesome too. Like I said, I was not expecting Adrenaline Crush to stamp so nicely, but it really did look very nice. Then with a final coat of Vibrant Vinyl's Fasten Hard Top Coat, this Manny is complete. And here is my final design. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this Louis Vuitton inspired Manny is really pretty. I love the way that Adrenaline Crush stamped. I thought it looked absolutely beautiful. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.